Hey, Jeremy Hammond here, and I want to talk to you about, uh, in this video, about the SARS-CoV-2, the 2019 novel coronavirus pandemic response. Uh, and I want to talk about how we got to where we are, and I mainly want to address the question of where do we go from here. Uh, so usually I write, you know, I, usually you, if you know my work, uh, you know I'm a writer. I don't create a lot of videos. Um, and so usually I'm doing detailed, fully referenced articles uh, about topics. However, in this case, there's just so much information and there's <laughs> so much that people aren't being told. Uh, and I just don't have time to write those types of high quality uh, articles that I usually do. Um, so the best way that I can think of to just get as much information out as quickly as I can is to produce uh, some videos here and just and just talk to you about, about these issues. Um, so I'm not going for production quality with these videos and, and this is just an introduction video, this one, um, to kind of introduce you to this topic uh, and, and what I'm going to be creating a series of videos um, talking about various issues. Um, and they're all going to have a, essentially the same focus, um, just for looking at different aspects of this issue. And so the big issue is that we have much of the U.S. and in fact the global population is now in lockdown. Uh, with you know, radical what they call social distancing measures which is a term being used somewhat euphem euphemistically uh, but we can get into that later um, this is causing severe economic collapse uh, that will continue to have harmful consequences for many years to come uh, there are authoritarian measures in place that violate our rights and set a dangerous precedent uh, and this too deserves our serious consideration it's not something we can dismiss um, these are all aspects of things that we need to take into account. Uh, and whatever short-term benefits these lockdown measures might confer, uh, the lockdown policies themselves could easily be causing far more harm than good over the long term. So how do we get here and what should we do from here uh, you know, moving into the future to save the greatest number of lives at the least possible cost? That is the main question that I want to address in this series of videos. So topics that I'll be talking about include uh, how decisions have been made and are being made based on fear and panic rather than on scientific data. Um, and how politicians are under extraordinary pressure to, to do something, uh, quote unquote, lest they be blamed for COVID-19 deaths. Uh, how there's a narrow focus on preventing COVID-19 deaths without consideration of the costs, not just in terms of the economy and standard of living, but also a cost in health and lives and how the media have been driving, you know, have been driving fear and panic among the public, failing to properly explain and qualify the data that, that is becoming increasingly available. They failed to empower people with the knowledge required to rationally exercise their own judgment and reduce the risk to themselves and their loved ones while also being able to get on with their lives. And instead are engaged in fear mongering to essentially manufacture consent for dangerous authoritarian government policies. The end game of these policies, the lockdown measures, is mass vaccination. Uh, they have no other uh, solution to the problem. Uh, and in fact, their measures make that the only possible solution. And I'll talk about uh, why that is uh, and why this is a completely irrational policy and it's why it's irrational to make policy decisions based on faith, strictly on faith, that a safe and effective vaccine can be rapidly developed and mass produced and distributed globally. I wanna talk about how flattening the curve can be achieved without destroying the economy and without robbing our children of their future and without our precious liberties being systematically violated. Uh, this will include you know, steps to reduce the risk in your household, the need for individuals and households to be able to exercise their own judgment and get on with making a living in a socially responsible manner, uh, the need for political decisions to be made at the more local level rather than at the level of the state and federal governments and so on. Uh, and finally, I want to talk about just how this, this pandemic is a wake-up call for humanity. Uh, and how we really need to learn to respect nature and live in greater harmony with our environment uh, and how we need to achieve better health outcomes, including less focus on vaccination as a one-size-fits-all solution to disease prevention and greater focus on naturally boosting our immune function. 
uh, and we need to correct a misguided faith in government health officials to take care of us uh, and, and learn to take responsibility for our own health. Um, so these are all, you know, the number of topics that I want to discuss uh, will include these, probably go into other issues as well, um, but that's just kind of a, a brief overview of what's coming. Uh, and so I hope you'll take the time to watch the series of videos that, I'm, that I intend to produce. Um, and uh, thank you for your attention.